Hallie Quillinan with IL Women. We're here with Taylor Cummings in our Baltimore Inner Harbor office. Taylor, fresh off what one might call a pretty busy summer uh, before headed off to England and then of course Poland. You and Under Armour had a pretty cool collaboration with Des Custom and Creative Custom Kicks. Yep. You haven't seen the finished product, uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about this product before I unveil shoes number one and two. <laughs> so uh, I got to work with two awesome designers this summer with the help of Under Armour. Um, and they basically wanted to tell a story on shoes, which is something that I've never done uh, before. And um, I had a long talk with one of the designers and he just wanted to get to know um, me and what my passions were and sort of how I came to where I am today. And so I think with each of these shoes, we're gonna have a story. Um, one starts at my roots, my McDonough roots, where I first started to fall in love with sports in general. Um, and then it moves up th through the Terps, uh, which naturally are just a huge part of my life and still are today. And then it ends with kind of this culmination of um, the U.S. team and our hope was to get these done before World Cup. I think seeing them after makes me like even more appreciative. So I'm super excited to see what they're what they look like. Awesome. Well, I will not keep you waiting any longer. As you mentioned, this first pair starts your roots, of course, here in Baltimore, born and raised. Uh, why don't we take a look? <laughs> wow. So these are pretty cool. Um, right away, I see a lot of what Des and I talked about were sort of my Baltimore roots, even though I wasn't born here. Um, I moved here when I was four, so I feel like Baltimore is sort of where I'm from. And I see a lot of the Baltimore O's and the Maryland Crab and the Under Armour, um, which just is so natural for Baltimore. Um, and then here you obviously have the Maryland flag. I have plenty of shoes with this pattern on it. Um, so I love to add one more. And now we have the soccer ball and the basketball, um, which again were passions of mine throughout high school. So I almost played soccer in college too. So I'm excited to kind of have a soccer kick back in the works. But these, these are awesome. They're really, really cool. A soccer kick on your kicks. Yes. And for our IL Women fans, where were you born? I was born in Richmond, so Richmond, oh, Virginia. Fun yeah. fact, so Taylor Cummings, because Maryland is actually not even from Maryland. Exactly. Um, moving on, we have some... Oh, these are very Maryland, very <laughs> McDonough. Ooh, even the Tortons on there. So these are awesome. Um, right away, I'm obviously drawn to, you can even see like the little turtle pattern in the shoes, which is sweet. We got the Maryland lacrosse. Uh, University of Maryland, the shell, I actually have this sticker on my car. Um, but I think the really cool thing is we're also incorporating McDonough. Um, so that's where, one, I first wore Under Armour. It was the, one of the first Under Armour schools. Um, but that's where sort of my love for the game really grew. And um, they're still, we, my, their last loss was my freshman year of high school and they still haven't lost yet. So that's pretty crazy. Um, and then the Torton, which is one of the biggest honors I think I've ever received. Um, so to have this on a shoe, it's just a really huge honor um, to have earned that, and it just means so much. So these are these are awesome. Now, yeah, McDonough, we actually spoke with Chris Robinson earlier today. Mm -hmm. What what is their streak up to? <laughs> I mean, how many? I have one. No yeah, yeah. Every year you're like, oh, is this the year? Like, is this the year it's gonna break? And it just they haven't yet. So um, I think it has to do with the coaching. I think it has to do with the players buying into the system and to. Um, sort of the mission. And I think the biggest thing that's made them so successful is they don't even really think about the streak. It was easy to say when the streak was at like 50 for me, so <laughs> it might be a little different now for them, but um, I think they just take it one game at a time. So I wish them good luck this, this spring. Yeah, obviously a, a lot of pressure at Maryland um, as well. You know, certainly a, a nice streak that they have with some national championships uh -huh. in their history. Um, Final pair, as I mentioned, I look at everything before you do. Um, all right, natural progression. Yeah, here we go. Oh, sweet. Oh, I even see, this is really cool. So there's even an England flag on there for our World Cup was in England. So that's that's something that's really cool. Um, the USA logo. What I like about these is that they're like a little darker. It's a little, um, little less bright and out there, but the logos are, kind of the star. Um, and then they have the gold medal on there because we run to this summer. So these are these might be my favorite pair at the moment. These are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly, obviously, three pretty awesome pairs of, now, these are turfs, right? Yep, so, finisher turfs. 
So you probably, what are you gonna do with all of these? <laughs> uh, well, I definitely don't wanna get them dirty, so I'm not gonna wear them. Uh, <laughs> these will probably go home. Maybe I'll put them alongside my Thorntons or um, put them on my dad's desk. He loves all the memorabilia <laughs> stuff. Um, but I think they'll find their place. Definitely not in the shoebox, so. Isn't that funny? All of, I feel like that's just, you know, you talk to you, even Kayla, mm -hmm. a lot of your Maryland teammates, all of the awards that you guys have seen, Yes. <laughs> That's what they say right now. Yeah. Yep. Everything is there. Um, mostly because they mean so much, and I don't want me to lose them or anything. <laughs> and my parents seem to be a little more safe. Um, but I think just I think they a lot of what I've accomplished is because of them. So um, I think they deserve it just as much as me. And I think they enjoy looking at it and realizing that all the car rides and the practices and the McDonald's in the back seat <laughs> was worth it. Um, so I think they definitely appreciate them too. I love that you gave McDonald's a shout out. McDonald's didn't make their way No, they didn't. Um, so let's talk about this before we, before we let you go. Mm -hmm. um, pretty awesome time with the U.S. team. And as you mentioned, not one, but two gold medals. Yeah. The first national team in U.S. lacrosse history to, to win you know, two gold medals in a summer in such a short span. Mm -hmm. What was it like over there in Europe? It was, it was awesome. It was definitely a grind. Um, we started out at Bisham Abbey. Um, we came to England a week before, and um, that's when our two-a-days happened. That's where we didn't really practice much together as a team. So that's where sort of we meshed as a team in those few days. Um, and then we went to Surrey, and um, Eng World Cup was just a blast from the opening ceremonies to the first game, all the way through uh, to that close closing gold medal ceremony. Um, that was a really special time for our team. I think that was our major goal throughout the four years was to win that. And then to top it off with World Games, I think we switched gears a little bit and that was more for the sport than anything else. Um, growing the sport, having it on that international stage um, was huge, but at the same time we wanted to win a gold medal. So that pressure came back, that um, attention to detail that we made of, might have lost in those couple days in between. Um, came right back and we ended up leaving Poland with another gold. So uh, if you went through the list of everything that we could have accomplished, we did and that's what we came to do. And uh, obviously you guys were over there, what, three, four, five weeks mm -hmm. even. Um, you got back R&R &R, or did you hop <laughs> right back into Taylor Cummings lacrosse? What's going on? Um, took a week, took a breath, um, got back on East Coast American time, not <laughs> Eastern Europe time. <laughs> Um, which was tough. I slept for a while. Um, and then after that week, I hopped right back into Taylor Cummings Lacrosse for the next two weeks. Lots of camps, lots of clinics. Worked world class camp with Devin and Gussie and Alice and Kayla and Toomey. So even after two weeks, we had all missed each other. So it was really fun to see them again. Um, we grew like so much as a family over there, and then to be like ripped apart again was kind of tough. So to see them was awesome. And now I'm just in the full swing of fall uh, lessons and clinics on the weekends. and. Right, headed right back into it. And obviously a, a few more years before you're mm -hmm. back in World Cup territory. What's next? What are you doing in the meantime? Um, well, I'm definitely still training. We have WPLL starting up. Um, Got to still stay in shape, uh, keep a stick in my hand. But I think we're just looking forward to get together um, for our next U.S. event, find out who our new coach is. Um, there's a lot of unknowns right now, but I think that's also kind of exciting. It shakes things up a bit. Um, so we're excited for, as a program, for the U.S. program, as a participant of the WPLL. There's only new things ahead, and I think that's the, kind of the cool part. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by, of course, and uh, giving us a sneak peek and the first look um, at, at your new kicks. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.